Hello friends, today I'm over here to discuss how to manually decrypt an iOS app. Um, this is with the help of um, some reading that I had done on my part and as well as uh, some books that I had taken a reference from, um, especially the hacking and securing of iOS applications. So uh, most of the steps have been documented in that book, but just to make it easier for people to understand how to manually decrypt iOS apps, um, this is a video that shows that. Uh, the whole aspect of iOS apps is that they are encrypted um, by the Apple App Store to protect um, using an encryption method so that um, iOS apps cannot be decrypted and as a result Apple can make money using the DRM that they have created. Uh, however, we can actually decrypt the apps manually um, in case when clutch or crackless don't seem to work against the applications and that way it's easier for someone to reverse engineer the code. This is just an example um, which has been shown a lot of times all around. Um, this is just an additional example that I'm going to present as well. So there's basically an original app that I have that does this, um, is, is actually encrypted and I'm going to manually decrypt it using the steps that have been noted below. Um, so I'm just going to open up a quick so these are the basic steps that you need to follow if they are in the order that that would be required. Um, so in this case, I'm going to try to decrypt this. So first thing you need is the O tool. Um, all my tools have been uh, downloaded on the iPad that I have. This is iPad 2. Um, so basically, I'm going to just show you what what it's supposed to. So in this case, we look that there's a CPU subtype of 9, which is basically ARM v7, a CPU subtype of 6 is basically um, version 6. I'm going to do an ARM version 7. So once we identify uh, using O2, which are the two architectures that this specific app supports, the next thing is to do is identify the offset for cryptographic offsets in the file itself. So the next thing is to do this. And you can see that the crypt offset is at 4096 and the overall size is 651264. Once that is completed, what you want to do is actually run the application so the way it could be able to running original directly and so now when you run this application that's where you need to set the shared libraries to off set the inferior auto start title off and finally set the shared pre type mode release off as well once that is done, we want to break and do more init function. This is where the app is completely decrypted in memory. And so once you run it, it should immediately be, in this case, it gets killed. However, uh, since I have renamed the app, I'm going to rename it with the original name of the app, which is this one. And so I'm now going to try to do the same thing uh, as I was doing before and do the exact same things. So now again, I'm breaking on that. I'm going to put again just to how it's in the space. I need to make sure that this is correct. And so let's do overall everything again. So the load rules has been turned off. And the auto has been turned off, and then the preload libraries have been turned off. And then we break at RV to modulate functions, and then we run. Uh, 
I guess I'll have to remove the folder as well, which is the other reason that this isn't working. And so this is the original main and the original app. So let's do it all over again. Did this. Just making sure that the load life load rules are functions then we run the program the program breaks at that point of time we need to calculate basically what uh, is the memory that we need to dump so in this case since we already saw that 4096 was the original offset for CPU subtype 9 um, and that's also the offset for crypt offset along with ARM architecture 7 I'm going to add this up which results into this um, and then just basically dump the memory from that starting so 2040 is where or 4096 um, so 4096 is actually 1000 hex but um, when the file is loaded it's shifted by 1000 bytes um, due to the loading aspect of it and as a result of that it becomes 2000 and so now you add the original offset plus the size the cryptographic offset size uh, and dump that memory so all you need to do is dump the memory into an arm v7 i'm gonna call it arm v7 underscore one and so now the memory has been dumped and then now i'm gonna kill the process which was killed and then quit and so now this is actually taken off now what i want to do is cp the arm arm v7 underscore bin to slash temp and then to a series slash temp so now that we have this file, what we need to do is copy this arm v7 pin over the original file. So let's see if there's an original file, which it is. I'm just gonna copy it. And so while copying, we are basically doing 8192. That's because we are adding uh, the cryptographic offset which is 4096 and the architecture offset so once we add those two that's where the actual decrypted file in memory um, is set and that's what we are going to do is that set, set it at 8192 and then just overwrite this original executable with uh, this one it might take a few more seconds once that is done uh, we basically have to make sure that uh, this version has the cryptographic uh, bit being set to zero and so usually um, there's a bit in in the in the file itself that tells if this is zero or this is one which zero means that it's unencrypted and one means that this is encrypted so i'm using a hex editor what i want to do now is using uh, go back to uh, the temp folder and then I'm going to just copy just move it modified and then just copy that one to desktop and once that is done what I want to do is using the hex editor And so if you do control G for hex editor, I want to go to the offset 4096, which is the photographic offset or the architecture offset as well in this case. Um, this should show all the load commands. And if you look, the very first library is preceded by basically um, uh, you know the very first library is preceded by 28 bytes, and at the 28 byte, you can see there's an byte which says 0, 01. This is a cryptographic byte. I'm going to just change it to 00. zero. And now when I load it, this should load very correctly. And so now what I'm going to do 
is actually move the sprite back to uh, to my iPad so that I can have a decrypted file that I can reverse engineer using IDA Pro or O2. In this case, I'm just going to use O2. And you can see that uh, the file is decrypted. So, uh, if you did not do that, and this is the original which is encrypted, so in that case, you should see that you cannot see properly, uh, and you can see that the instructions look very different. So, let's take an example at 3290, it says undefined. Now, let's go to 3290, and you can see that the instructions are decrypted. So um, this explains that basically at this point of time, you should be able to look at this source code for uh, the file. In this case, the disassembled source code is what I would call our assembly. Objective-C assembly that you can look at. So this shows basically how you can manually do a decryption. So it's basically five steps. Original architecture, setting the breakpoint, making the correct offsets. Uh, once offsets are calculated, just dumping the memory and then overwriting it uh, in the file and changing. Now these 20 bytes over here can vary for different architectures. So look around, but basically if you modify the correct bit, this should work perfectly. Alright, that's pretty much it guys. Thank